Welcome to another episode of On Top and Hot. I'm your host, John Sadar, and this is Monday, August 22nd. Now, if this is the first time you've been here, thank you. I appreciate it. What we like to do here is look at OTC and penny stocks. Now, if you've been here lots of times and you've heard what I'm going to say right now lots of times, we've got some news over here to keep you entertained. There's some juicy morsels in there. That is OTC news that I've looked at over the last five days. Oldest is at the top, newest is at the bottom. You don't have any financials in there, no public offerings. This is just dealings that they're involved with, mergers, acquisitions, stuff like that. The juicy stuff. Now, I say it's OTC, but they are all penny stocks. But a penny stock can be any stock up to $5. And there's lots of stocks under $5 on the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange. So we could be looking at some of those as well. Now, I like to do all of my research on my OTC stocks right here at the otcmarkets.com website. It's my go-to site in all circumstances. I don't go anywhere first. This site is updated every single day by Fiener and the SEC. That means it's never outdated. What's the point of searching for current information when you know exactly where it lives? Just come here and, as I like to say, get it right the first time. So let's take a look at our OTC mark today. How did she do? Well, our dollar volume increased. We were down, I think, at 1.7 billion. We're up to 2. 2.1 is our average. Nothing to brag about. Our share volume has fallen again. Now we're under 10. We were just over 10. That's all we're doing is flipping back and forth over 10 billion. So we're basically going sideways right now. As we are with the trades, 250,000 is kind of the basement. We have gone under it, but that's about where we sit when everything stinks. And we were at like 266 yesterday. We're at 276 today. So, I mean, yeah, we're moving up, but nothing to brag about. Now we're going to do something different today. Normally we look at three stocks, maybe four. I got to pick them out of all the stocks that we're running. Not today. We're going to actually go look at the list of the hottest stocks that were on the top on the OTC market. You didn't know they had a list? Sure they do. It's right here at this site. All you got to do is come here to market activity and click this button right here. Current market. And you'll be brought to this page. This is the most active stocks across the entire OTC market. Now, we are particularly looking for stocks that had gainers. So I'm only going to focus in on the advancers here. And I'm not going to narrow it down. I'm going to look at every stock they've got on the OTC market. Click this more button here. Get rid of everything else on the page. And now it's dedicated just to gainers. And you have got a terrific, exhaustive list here for every single stock on the OTC market. Now, they start the list by putting the highest gainer at the top. This is the biggest gainer right there across the entire OTC market, 29,900% gains. And if you start scrolling down, clicking that more button, it will go all the way through all 12,000 stocks until you're looking at the very worst stock on the OTC market. So this is the longest list I have ever seen, but it is one of the best lists I have ever gotten. Now, of course, they've got all the information you're looking for. Everybody's looking for the symbol, the price of the stock, percentage gain. This one's interesting. This shows you how much money has been generated by selling the stock today. Share volume, everybody wants to know that. But what I'm here for, what makes this list so special to me is that. That's the gold in this. Trades. Trades, folks, they tell me how many trades every stock has had in this list. Now, to me, I equate that to people. Not a one-to-one, -one, you know, but let's look at this. That right there, one trade. I know there's not 10 people there. I know that for a fact. There's no more than one. This one up here, though, there could be 10 people there. There could be 40. There could be 56 people there. But I know there's more than one. At least it's a pretty good guess. So I am looking for high number of trades. Now, this list is updated all through the day. Right now, we're getting a tally at the end of the day. But you can come here any time of day. It has about a 15-minute delay, and you do have to refresh the page. However, you can see what stocks are doing, how many trades, right then and there. And if you see a stock that's getting a lot of trades, you may want to look into it. So you come over here, just click the ticker, and you can go to their page and then look at the news. See if there's any news today that has it running. If you don't see anything, check out the filings. Anything going on over there. Then look at the float. Lots of stocks run simply because they have small floats. If we can't find anything on the OTC market, then you jump on over to Twitter. 
Real quick, you throw in the ticker, you see what comes up. There are lots and lots of people doing research over there that like to share tidbits of information. And it's not that we take it as gospel, but they are leads. And whether we believe it or not, there's lots of other people reading it that would believe it, even if it was hype or a rumor. And that will get a stock running just as well. So I like to come over here all through the day. Right now we're getting a tally. So I am gonna have to draw a line somewhere we're going to look at stocks that have had 50 trades at least 50 trades we're not going to look at any stocks that are priced in the triple zeros now you may find stocks that have lots of trades sold millions of shares but they don't move far i mean they go seven eight seven eight seven eight seven eight all day long and they sell a billion shares what we're really looking for is the stocks that have gains we're just looking for the technical signs that can show us which ones are probably gonna give us more gains. So let's start our scan here. We're gonna scroll on down and I've had to put myself over into this corner so I don't block any information over here. And I'm gonna to have to remember to scroll the pages up high when we go anywhere else so that you can see whatever it is I see up here above me. So starting our scroll on down here, I'm looking for any stock that has over 50 trades. You can see we are falling in percentages as we are going down. Here's our first candidate right there, 196 trades today, not bad, 24 million shares, excellent, 103% gains, outstanding, one and a half cents, this is sticker VDRM. Now this is curious, I've been looking at this list all day long, and that is the first time I have seen VDRM come up, so it must have come up late in the day. This is Viaderma. Oh yes, Viaderma. I used to be invested in this years ago when it was involved in cannabis. I don't know what they're doing right now. They mention cannabis over here at all? CBD, cannabis? No, they mention oral medications. That's about it. Stem cell therapy. Well, that's a long ways from cannabis, I'll tell you that much. Share structure. What do we got here? About a billion shares in the float. Financials, they making any sort of money right now. They are making some money. They did uh, about a half a million dollars at the end of last year. Disclosures, we got anything new that came out today? Uh, no, nothing here. How about the news? Anything fresh over here? We got nothing since June there and nothing here. So let's go run over to Twitter and see if we can find anything over there. VDRM. Throw a dollar sign in front of it. I normally pull up top. These are the most popular posts, posts that have, people have been reading. Now they may have more current posts. You can go over to latest and get posts that are chronologically in order so you can see the most current ones. But it's the posts people are reading that get a stock moving. So I wanna see which posts are popular because people may be reading rumors and that will get a stock running too. Word on the streets, VDRM merger on the horizon. Perfect example. Now, I'm not saying Moo Route is spreading a rumor, but we've got no news link here. We've got no information to back this up. Let's see if anybody else says anything here. VDRM is going insane. Yeah, it was going good today. VDRM, it's the beginning. What am I missing? Been focused elsewhere, but it has been on my watch list for weeks. Why the jump? So you got a lot of people confused. Nobody really knows what's going on here. Um, I just want to know who's pumping it. Been holding this forever at about 80% loss. CEO seems to be missing in action. No communication, no updates. Well, that's kind of what I see. I don't see anything going on here. And we've had one piece of information up there that sounded like it was good, a merger. Uh, but we don't see any information here at all. Uh, no, nothing here. So I don't see anything here. Maybe there's a merger. You could do some more research, jump around in their disclosure, see if there's anything. But if there was, somebody would have probably posted it. We're gonna take a quick look here at VDRM. We're not gonna look at all the charts for these stocks. There's just too many of them. But this one did do 100% gains, and I wanna see if she's got any more to give. So this is VDRM, six month, four hour chart. We're doing our charting on Think or Swim. This is my free trading platform I got from TD Ameritrade just for signing up for their free trading account. You can too. Just keep your account open, and you can use this anytime you like. So six month, four hour chart. 
She has been under the 200 most of this time. She's had a few attempts here trying to break out over it, and it is just this last month she's actually succeeded getting over the 200 and is now bouncing off of it over and over again, higher and higher. We've got lots of volume today, and all of the technicals are stretching to the moon. I'm going to jump right on down to that five-day, five-minute. So she hasn't been doing much for the last four days. Today she took off, got a late start, jumped from about, uh, call it double zero eight up to 18. Let's call it eight to 18. So you're looking uh, about 115, 120% gains before she fell back. She did hit a high bubble here, had a pullback. We expect that. That's totally normal. That's not falling. That's just a pullback. And now she's going right back to it. Our volume has been increasing as the day went on. It wasn't strong at the beginning of the day, but it's stronger now. Technicals look great. Our PPO, our percentage price oscillator, much like the MACD, both are pointing up and over their signal lines. RSI is just approaching the overbought, and our ADX, which shows trend, has not changed direction. As long as this keeps going the same direction, the trend keeps going the same direction. So even this little pullback has not stopped this, showing the trend is going up. This looks like it wants to continue. The only thing I'm worried about, and I just saw it, is that little red line right there. That is the 200-day SMA coming onto the board. And I have seen in many cases, when a new SMA comes on the board, the price gravitates to it. Whether it be up or down, it runs to the 200-day SMA because it has so much data. I know that sounds weird, but that's what happens. So hopefully this gets ignored tomorrow because it looks like it is ready to continue running. I'd keep my eye on VDRM. All right, let's come back to our list here. Scroll on down. Let's find another candidate. Here we go. Tips. Tips is at about 18 and a half cents. Did 68% gains. Only a half a million shares. Now, that's not all bad. Think about it. We do like to see stocks that are doing quarter billion shares. Of course we do. We know they're running. But you would like to find a stock that's going to do a quarter billion shares, but you found it when it was doing a half a million shares. This could be the start of a run. So you never can tell. There was 107 trades on this stock today. Let's go take a look at tips, see what was going on with her. All right, tips is, ooh, Tinrong Internet Products and Services. Is this a Chinese company? Let's take a look here. With that name, I'm kind of guessing. No, it's not. United Kingdom, okay. Share structure on this. We got a low float. We got 21 million. That's not a bad float at all. Uh, they say there's 16 million in the DTC, but we're not going to go for that. Those are transient shares. Shares moving. You never know how many they actually got. Disclosures. Anything fresh over here? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, we've got a quarterly report that was put out four days ago. And uh, that is about it. They are pink current. They've got a verified profile, transfer agent. All looks good here. Independent directors. You need these if you're going to uplist. Uh, they're in business, but they're not making any money. How about news? Everything looks good here. We just don't see any news. Uh, no, nothing since March. All right, so let's go put in tips over here. Now, it seems to me I did look at tips earlier today. Um, oh, I do remember. They had their own tweets come out today. Let's see if we can find right here. All right, I'm going to jump into their Twitter account. That's right. They had one tweet come out today, and they had a tweet come out in February right there. This is all about their audit. In addition, once the audit is completed, TIPS will file with the SEC to be a fully reporting company, which, like the OTCQB listing will allow many more investors, funds, and brokers from around the globe to trade tip shares. Thank you. Then they had a tweet come out today, five hours ago. Good morning, tip shareholders. We have just had word from the auditor that the tips audit is complete and that they will sign off on it imminently. They are just waiting a few backup documents from Wilton. As soon as the audit is signed off, we will post it on the OTC markets. So one way or another, we got a catalyst here. Now, why do I say it that way? Well, they are now a fully reporting company. That's a good thing. That could have it running. 
but I get the opinion, and maybe I'm wrong here, but when I read this down here, did you hear me say that they were uplisting to the QB? I mean, did it kind of come across that way to you? Because they don't mention that they are uplisting anywhere. They just said they are fully reporting like companies on the QB. And I think maybe a lot of people inferred that they're uplisting to the QB. I don't know. It's just a guess. All right. So at least now we know what's going on. Let's see what's down the list further. We got another one here at 147 trades, 240 million shares. Oh, that's why there's so many shares. They're cheap. You can buy a million shares for $100 at 0001. Right now she's at 0005. So we're not going to take a look at FTXP. Scrolling down further, we got another one here. Almost missed this one. 62 trades, a couple million shares sold today. Uh, about two and a half cents with 57% gains. This is CCWF, another late bloomer. I did not see this one on the list and I was watching this all day long. So she is on the pink limited tier. Again, that means that they're late on one or more of their filings. They have a verified profile, transfer agent verified, looks good. Another company in business, but not making any money. Now, since they're pink limited, let's see if that's the catalyst, because if they filed something that's gonna make them pink current, that can definitely get the stock running. So we do have a quarterly report here that came out four days ago. Uh, let's see, this is the period they filed for. So that was for June 30th. But look here, at the end of July, they filed a quarterly report for June 30th. Then they had to add some supplemental information for the same period, and then they refiled. So there's a very good likelihood that people are just anticipating this is going to go pink because now this has been put in. Let's see if there's any news over here. Maybe there's something else making it run. No, no, we got nothing since June. And since we are here, let's take a look at those uh, floats. We got 84 million in the float here. All right, I do want to take this over because the only thing I see is that they filed something, but I don't know for sure that that is it. There could be something else going on with this stock. CCWF. All right, this is two hours ago. CCWF amended the filing to reflect change of control. Just a matter of time now for the OTC markets to adjust back to pink current. There we go. Originally, the original quarterly on the left, new amended quarterly on the right. There you go. As we pointed out, there are two different quarterly reports been entered in. They obviously forgot to put in change of control, which is an important piece of information. Someone else now is in control of the business. So you may want to actually go do some more DD and find out what that's about. That could be quite important. And people are expecting it now to go back up to pink current. Let's see if there's anything else here. We got technicals. Uh, finally catching on the OTC market to do their job and update to pink current. Looks like that is it, folks. Pink current is what has got people talking and the uh, technicals because she was moving today. Yep, there it is. Repeated again. So that is what that one is all about. Jumping back to our on top and hot list. Ooh, we got a big one here, folks. Look at that. 1984. Orson Welles would like that. We have a couple million shares and Holy cow, $133 million is what this stock generated in sales today? Oh, look at the price of that stock. No penny stock. Remember, this is every stock in the OTC market. You just don't normally see a stock at $56 selling millions of shares, getting thousands of trades with 50% gains. Oh, there it is, CSVI. I just got done reading about this one today. Where I got the news right here. Hey, hey, how convenient is this? This came out today. Canaan Holdings, a New York Stock Exchange company, ticker CNNE, today announced that it has committed to an $84 million equity investment in computer services, ticker CSVI, on the OTC market. There you go, folks. That is all you really need. So that was why she was running today. Not that it makes a whole lot of difference to penny stock traders, but hey, that was a huge one. It's the biggest one on our list today. Nobody else has had anywhere near that many trades. Wow. All right, scrolling further down. We got another one here, 188 trades, only three quarter million shares sold, 
41% gains, almost 20%. This is TVPC. And what has TVPC got to tell us? Oh, get out of there. Do you see how this works, folks? If you just touch that, the whole thing comes down. I hate it. There is a safety zone. You've got to come over here on the edges. Come over on the edges and you are safe. All right, TVPC, Twin V Power Cats. I do believe these are power boats. It's a boating company. Uh, finished the day at 41 cents. Pink current, got a transfer agent verified, but no verified profile. Share structure, since we're here. Ooh, a better float. Now here's a great example, folks. Unrestricted shares, how many shares they put on the market. Unrestricted shares are the ones allowed on the market compared to restricted shares, which are not allowed to go on the market. Well, the ones allowed on the market, there are 12,500,000 of them. That's all of them. So the held in DTC, 7 million, well, that's, that's not enough. This is transient shares. These are shares actually moving from one place to another place, and that's how many they're holding right now. And the float, they say the float is 4.3 million, and look, it is outdated. So I don't trust the float, I don't use the DTC, I do trust the unrestricted shares, and it is only 12 and a half million. This company making any money? Yeah, they are. They're doing about uh, 15, 16 million dollars at the end of last year. Quarterly, uh, they did about six million the first quarter of this year. So things are looking good for them in that regard. Disclosures, we've got any new disclosures over here for Catalyst. We got an attorney letter that came in a few days ago, but they're already pink current, so that's not an issue. And uh, over a week ago, yeah, over a week ago, they had a filing, so I don't see anything here. Let's hope we got something in the news. Have we had a news catalyst yet? 820, oh, that's 2021, no, <laughs> can't use that one. 818, oh, that's four days ago. Oh, that's not even their news. That's Forza One and One Water Marine announced strategic partnership on the 18th. Forza One is the company that just went up on the NASDAQ last week, I believe it was, and they just made another deal. So I don't see anything here. Let's go take a look for TVPC over here at Twitter. Now, you know, I'm trying to remember here, but I am thinking that I looked at this one earlier too, and this company, yes, VEE. -E. This is a company that has investments in other companies. Let's see if I can find the one tweet I was reading earlier that basically gives you all the information that you're looking for. I probably am not going to find it here. But um, they have investment in three, two companies. There it is. Oh, I found it. How lucky was I? TVPC, easy money like BMXI, an extremely undervalued stock with no dilution. TVPC owns 4 million shares of VEEE. -E. That is equivalent to $28 million. They also own 7 million shares of FRZA. That is equivalent to $42 million. And TVPC has their own assets of $21 million. That gives the company assets of $90 million. They say 10 times the revenue, you're at 155. Now they say there's a tiny float of 7.1 million. We didn't see that, did we? Uh, I think it was 12 million, wasn't it? 12 million, see, he took the DTC. Don't trust the DTC, that's transient. That'll always be a different number, never the same number twice. But in either case, you can see that the company is invested in other companies. I'm not quite sure what these companies are doing right now. That's what DD is for, but they own quite a lot of these companies and they've got lots of assets that don't show up on the regular charts. You've got to jump into the financials to see them. So that's why TVPC was running today. So back to our list, we've got 118 trades here with 118 million shares, but only 0007 price. So we're gonna skip this one. This is sticker VIZC. You may wanna look at it. That is a ton of shares and that is a lot of trades. And the price is starting to get close to the double zero. So you start getting more activity when they get close there. Uh, next one down is 371 trades, 26 million shares, 37% gains at a half a penny. Oh, this is Alley, ticker A-L-Y-I. 
Allie, back when I knew her, was creating this replica World War II motorcycle, the sidecar version. And they were going to sell these to Africa for their Bodie Bodies, which is a taxi. Now, it's been a long time since I followed this company. I know they're working on Revolt, still the electric motorcycle. They've got other companies working with them, like iQuestral, uh, P-Jet, I think. They've got the Revolt Token. So they do have a lot going on. They are pink current, got their verified profile and transfer agent so everything looks good here share structure oh my god over three billion shares in the float that is a ton disclosures we got anything current that may be causing it to run today we had a quarterly report just come out a couple days ago she is current so it could just be the report in itself uh, no new sec filings and how about news they used to put out multiple news presses a month I mean lots and lots of news let me see, 816, 89, 77, 617, 68. All right, so we had news a few days ago. Alley previews electric vehicle strategic transition. But that was, uh, geez, that, that was like six days ago. So I don't see anything here except the financials. The financials could actually be what has it running. We haven't jumped into it. But you go over to Twitter, if there is something in those financials, Chances are somebody has dug it up and posted it over here. Let's see. Things are about to get interesting. So we're looking at technicals. Uh, let's go EV bikes emerging from a shell. Emerging from a shell. That was five hours ago. Did it say shell company over there? No, it doesn't say shell. So maybe it said shell company, which means they're not doing any business. They don't have any business to be doing, which is what I said. I know they've been supposedly making an electric motorcycle, but I haven't seen one on the road yet. Any more information over there? Um, oh, what's this? Alley, main list from rags to riches, the Penny Stalker channel. Okay, just looking at stocks that are making gains. A new filing. Really? A new filing? That's got to be their financial, isn't it? Dun da da da. Uh, alternate name, address. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's their financial. So, really, that's all you've got going on right now is they've had a financial come out. They must have said, and we could have looked while I was there, they must have said that they're making some sort of money now because that's how you come out of shell. And if they had a shell tag up there and it's now missing, that would get people excited. That would definitely get it running. That means your company's finally making money. They're in business doing business. All right, what else we got over here? 571, that's a good one there. At $3 right now, ooh, only did 184,000 shares at about three bucks. This is SKFG. Let's see what they've got to say. I gotta get rid of some of these windows they've opened up up here. All right, this is Stark Focus Group. Let's see if we have any disclosures today, since that's the closest button to me. Uh, filings came out about 11 days ago. Their financials, that's a little old. News, got any news today? Uh, no, nothing. No news at all. Share structure. Is it a low float that's got it running? Oh, very well, could be. Now, we haven't gone and looked up the float, but there's your outstanding shares right there under 10 million so you know your float is under 10 million insiders probably have to own something so that float is going to be really low and what's interesting is they've got a hundred thousand authorized they've only got one tenth of their shares sitting on the market which they could load up the market with shares and bring down shareholder value or they can use all those shares they've got in there like bank money they can use it to actually make a deal with another company. Just give them shares instead of money and they can get an acquisition in that way. All right, I'm going to take SKFG. We're going to run over to Twitter for this one since I haven't found anything apparent. Let's hope somebody found something. Uh, hilarious dump on Friday. Oh, my God. Was that Friday's dump? It may have just been a low bubble that they were coming in on. Stock got pushed hard by penny stock newsletters before SKFG company has apparently no business, no cash, but had a market cap of $100 million and went from penny stock terrain to $1,450. When did it hit $1,450? When was that put out? Three hours ago. Uh, oh, I like that. <laughs> um, I'm not seeing anything else here. Seems the same guy keeps writing about it, right? Armin Brack seems to be the only guy writing about this company. 
Uh, is this the same one? 81% of the company was bought by Compass North for $430,000 or uh, what? what is that? About a half a penny per share nearly a year ago. Now they obviously dumped the stock at prices from fourteen fifty down to two dollars and twenty cents after the stock was pushed hard. When was this? Uh, yeah, that was back September of last year. So there is some news around this, but nothing right now. Nothing right now is booming. Yeah, drug was booming. Drug was booming big today. That's a Nasdaq stock that took off simply. Well, there was no reason for it. It ran really hard today. As a matter of fact, do I have it? Uh, right there. All right, you finished the day. Let's look at that. It just changed, so there's still activity on it. 72% gains right now. It just jumped, and the only reason it's running, well, there is no reason. It ran two days ago when these filings came out for financials where it shows that they lost $12 million in assets and took about $12 million in losses in revenue. But the only thing that came out was the fact that they said in their disclosure right here and they put this in a newsletter too they say the company is not aware of any material undisclosed corporate developments and has no material change in its business or affairs that has not been publicly be been disclosed that would account for the recent increase in volume or price there was a big jump two days ago and then there was a big jump today but the company had to come forward before they get busted for hyping it up or something and saying, we don't know any reason why it's running. Don't blame us. So drug was running today for no reason. And that's what they're telling us over here. And I just happened to notice that one too. But I don't see anything else here for SKFG. Nothing. All right, back to our list. Uh, 33 Oh, we're down to 30% almost. We got anything left? Oh, we do. Another 1,000. 1,243, almost a half a billion shares here. 33% gains just got out of the triple zeros. They had to have just come out of the triple zeros. Uh, they were at triple zero before the day started. They're now at double zero one six. This is Ecox. You know, I think I looked at Ecox also because it was running early today, and I think it's one of those stocks that has no apparent reason why it was running. Let's start with the share structure. We've got 432 million shares in the float, almost a half a billion. Disclosures, um, SEC filing, oh, there you go, today. Today we had a 10Q come out. That is a quarterly financial. 10Qs are uh, audited. Here behind it on the 15th, NT 10Q. Just think of NT as not. It means we're not going to be filing our 10Q. It's an excuse form. You file this, it normally buys you five days on a quarterly and 15 days on an annual. And many times you will actually see a stock run when an NT is filed. They'll say, oh, we're going to have it out in five more days. Well, the earnings are coming out in five days. There should be a run on the earnings just for the earnings. But you get a run for the not 10Q. Never understood it. Uh, let's see if there's any news. It could just be all about the filings. Nothing since May and nothing since June. All right. I want to see what they did. That is to say, let's let Twitter poke around in those filings for us. Let's see what they've got. TV, PC, and Ecox setting up for an exciting week. We've looked at both of them. Got a feeling my tenderloins that Ecox's going to be a big one. Uh, Ecox reports 1.95 million in net income for three months ending June 30th. Looks like several green construction companies formed or in acquisition. Will be interesting to see the next steps. That was two hours ago, so that is something right there. That's something. We don't get a lot of somethings. Um, momentum is back. First OTC meme stock. Okay. All right, so there's nothing more going on here. Float 432. What's that? Oh, yeah, 432 million. A lot of people on Twitter will call that a low float. I don't consider it a low float. So that's what's going on with Ecox. B now, B now, triple zero four, almost at 50 trades, uh, 77, we're right at the cusp, right at 30%.
Let's take a look. They did a half a million shares today, 77 trades, CSU at 15 cents with 30% gains. CSU sounds like a university. Cannabis Swiss Corps. Yeah, my kind of university. High on education. Let's see what we got for share structure here, folks. We got a nice low float. Wow. Again, we got 18, 19 million, but they got a quarter billion shares they could put on the market. Or they got a quarter billion shares they can use to make some deals. They've only got 40 million outstanding, so we've got another low float here. Disclosures, anything current keeping this thing running right now? Nothing since July of this year. And that is it for the filings. News. Now, it seems to me I saw CSUI running the other day as well. No, we got no news here at all. Absolutely nothing. Let's hope that Twitter has something on the books for us because I can't find anything. And as I said, I think I saw this running last week. Oh, no, that's not what we wanted. We wanted CSUI. CSUI. I was going to say, we got a CSUI, a silent beast. Dropped off and offered a nice bounce. Uh, GGI do, 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 needs filings. We need the story. It wasn't a, no, it's it's a shell risk. So they're in business, not making any money. They've got a transfer agent, but no verified profile. And they are pink current. So I'm not quite sure what sort of filings he's talking about. S CSUI updates got to be close. That was on the 17th. CSUI OS updated yesterday. That's the outstanding share count. Still unchanged at 40.6 million. 6 million valuation here. Uh, so they were supposed to take off some shares maybe. Yeah, here's someone else talking about it. Dilution increases the outstanding share count. OS has not changed. The restricted versus unrestricted have. This is not dilution. Market valuations are based upon OS share counts. OS continuing unchanged here is huge, in my opinion. Whatever that's worth to you folks. So that seems to be about it for them. So, so what do you think of my on top and hot list? I know it's the OTC markets list, but I love it. It works wonders for me. That trade column makes all the difference in the world. You know what that's really doing? It's narrowing down the 12,000 stocks to a handful of stocks that you should be considering. Stocks that have got a lot of people around them throwing money at it. That's what you're looking for, right? You just don't want a stock that rose up because four people bought in heavy. You want a stock that's rising because lots of people just keep wanting that stock over and over. Now, we didn't do all the due diligence we could have done. We just superficially were looking for the catalyst. Why were these stocks running today? Once you find out why they're running, you get in there and you start digging around. You see there's been a change of control and it's been mentioned in a filing. Jump into that filing. See where it is. If you don't like reading it all, then just use that change of control as a key word or something like that. Narrow it down. Remember, folks, Due diligence is where you're going to find the answers to why a stock is running. It isn't anything to be scared of. It's like gold mining. You know, if you have yourself a metal detector and you're going around the ground and goes you're not rich. You've just got an indicator that there's something there. Now it's time to dig. And that's what we just did. We went to a list that gave us a lot of now it's time to dig. Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you.